Yo, listen, it's Platinum Max, part of the acclaim, the Platinum Playboy, best wrestler alive, and you are rocking with the Bob Culture Podcast. Yo, listen, Platinum on the mic, and I'm coming for your ass. I'm listening to the Bob Culture Podcast. And I think it's the hottest show in the game. Cause them and everybody loves the acclaim. Now scissor me. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, we live here at ISPW at the Total Wapow. We are not worthy with the, first of all, ECPW heavyweight champion. Oh, shit, title. I didn't break out the other no, belt. No, well, we got to talk about this, man. He's got a lot of belts in that all suitcase. Right, bad, and of course... It's there's an asterisk maybe uh, tech, we'll talk about listen, that. R- listen, Rob, I I agreed to do this because I like you. Right. Don't make me change I'm my just, mind by saying any I asterisks. Apologize. <laughs> I apologize. Uh, he is the current reigning and defending Pro Wrestling Magic Junior Heavyweight Champion, yeah, right? As well as Troy Locke. We'll talk about that. I, I'm just it's what's on the card. It's what's on the paper. Let's get into it. Of course, uh, the freshly Trey Felipe. Thank you, Trey, for a few minutes. Appreciate listen, that. Th- thank you for having me. Thank you for always giving me a voice. Yeah, of course. Uh, Lots to talk about, man. Listen, man, we'll we'll get into the obvious elephant in the room, which, no, it is not Troy's mullet. It is the Junior Heavyweight Championship. <sighs> Listen, man. So for those who don't know, and I'll, I'll run it back if that's okay. Ahead, I don't yep, mean to interrupt. Yep. But basically, it hurts me to talk about, so you at, do it. At Pro Wrestling Magic, I believe I was on the call for this one. Correct mm-hmm. me if I'm wrong. I'm not putting myself over. I'm just no, giving you my, my frame of reference. And I believe that one of you... We've talked about Hispanos Unidos time and time again. I don't want to go down that rabbit hole again. But it seems as though you were not able to make it due to, I believe, a family emergency or something yes, of sir. that nature. I don't want to speak for you. I hope everything's good, first and foremost. But it is. Thank you. a member of the faction defended for you without, to my knowledge, without your knowledge, and lost to Troy Locke. And Troy, I have nothing but great things to say about Troy Locke. He's great. I hope to see you guys square off for many, many reasons. But you lost your championship, and now he's walking around with a, a different junior heavyweight championship. Your read on all of this. All right. Well, the first things first. I didn't lose anything. My shoulders never hit the mat. Uh, the belt is still right here. Troy Locke is walking around with what seems like a belt buckle from Toys R Us. Wow. Uh, wow. And the, the member that you're talking about in Hispanos Unidos is, you know what? I consider him a good... I consider him a good friend, a brother, un hermano. Uh, but this is now the second time that I don't show up with reasons beyond my control, and Johnny Santos steps up for me. So was now, it his decision? I, I don't mean to tell you. About, was it his decision? How did this work? Did the group vote? So like, how's this? Work? I've been calling, texting, emailing. Every si- we have a lot of people in the group. Now one person can tell me whose call this was. We've been on shows together. They avoid me. We've done this. That, I mean, I, no one can tell me whose call this was. The first time, it was uh, for, the, for a fast pass for the tag team championships. I had something going on. I couldn't make it. Johnny Santos stepped up. He became a part of these Final Unidos. God bless. They won the fast pass. We, you know, it, it was good for us. Then we, we went on to win trios championships. We became close. He's been great for the group. Now this time, it's a family emergency. This is my singles ring. I've been working my ass off. You've been, yes. listen, yes. you've been there for, for, for most of it. You weren't, you weren't the there night. for the Tony Rush era. We don't really like to talk about that. But you were, you were there for the two years at least that I was working my ass off to break out and do my own thing. And I finally do it. At the, at, at the expense of one of my other brothers, Azriel, who, again, wasn't even happy for me when I won it. It's not like I pinned you, Az. Um, I finally did it. I finally got a belt for myself, Junior Heavyweight Championship belt, World Junior Heavyweight Championship belt. Took it off what seemed to be the unbeatable Vinny Pacifico, and uh, then Fair. I missed Fair. One, one show for a family emergency. And someone else steps in for me, which is Johnny Santos. And he loses. It almost feels like, and I don't want to say the word punishment, right? It it almost feels like it's just like you had no control over the situation. It was the worst possible result. No, and no yep. disrespect to Troy Locke. I want to say that over and over again. Is is there something you want to say to management? Is it something you want to say to your guys? Uh, I, I don't want to stir. I never want to stir the pot with you guys ever again because you all get mad at me. But who who do we blame? Who do we want to talk to? Do we write a letter? What what do we do? Here? Well, that's the thing. I don't know who to blame. I, they, management won't give me an answer. The sponsor Neilis won't give me an answer. 
I don't know if it was Donovan's idea. I don't know if it was Azrael's idea. I don't know if it was uh, Johnny's idea. I don't know if he just walked out of there with that belt. Where did Johnny even get the belt from? He I walked out the with the belt. Thing. Where did he get the belt from? No one knows. So, and I asked management, That's a good same point. thing. Listen, and when it comes to management, I could blame them because, listen, we've had tag team championship in, in death row who were doing single matches. I, I faced John Tella a month before that. Fair. Before I won this, single matches. Lou Bruno also won singles matches. Uh, or, or we're not showing up together. And no repercussions. They were the longest reigning tag team champions. You know why? Because they didn't show up half the time. Or they didn't show up as a team. Then we have Rebecca Scott, our women's heavyweight champion, who has who showed up twice. We've had two baseball shows, and she showed up twice to defend her belt. No repercussions. Trey Felipe, who has been killing himself for magic, killing himself for Hispanos Unidos, has a family emergency, and my second family, Hispanos Unidos, doesn't step up for me, doesn't like you know say no, management. We probably should wait till September, or we should wait till October. So that they're both to blame. And then we have we have September. I'm not even booked for September. Troy Locke is defending his belt. And he never even won it cleanly. And like you said, there's been a lot of I, I can say so many good things about Troy. I respect Troy. Yeah. Troy is a fucking he's an upcoming he's fighter. He's a he's he's good. good. He's so good. But where I lost respect is Troy, how did you take a win knowing you didn't wow. beat the real champion? Wow. And you're gonna walk around putting out promos, walk around defending this. Even you, yeah, you know what's crazy is that when I won this belt, what was the first thing I did? I gave opportunities to new guys. You did. I bet. Young guy. One hell of a fight. Yep. One hell of a fight. And then again, well, I was supposed to defend against another new guy, up and comer, Troy. What did Troy do the second he won that belt? Don't don't put me. He I'm went for the him. heavyweight belt because this doesn't mean anything to him. He went for the heavyweight belt because it wasn't anything to him. So explain to me, Rob, who is to blame? Is it Troy? Is it management? Or is it Hispanos Unidos? No one knows. But like I said in my video the other day, it, it, someone's getting folded like a lawn chair. Someone's getting folded like an omelet. Who is it going to be? You never know. Someone's in trouble. Well, what's what? And I don't want to see you go down a bad path because of this, Trey. You've been doing great stuff, man. Uh, I know I've talked to you personally. Said I, I, you, we talked about you breaking out last time. Ooh. You know, we talked about sure. things you had to conquer, perhaps people you had to conquer to move forward. I feel like you've done a lot of those things. I think a lot of times your move of the night. We've talked about that in the past as well. I don't want you to see this. These, these clowns over here, Corbett, Stanley, what's going on? Nope. I, 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 I don't know. Downey, Downey's the one that actually pinned for this too. I, I, oh wow. Yeah, that's crazy. Wow, it's nuts. shot that's it that. down. Yeah, it's nuts. But I digress. But what's, I don't want to see you go down a bad path because you say, you know, you're going to get your revenge. Is it a match? Like, what's the solution? Go about this the right way because you say you do respect Troy. I do. But it's what's not, the it's not. It's not about going around about it the wrong way. There's no part of me that has an ill intent when it comes to this. All it is is I'm chasing the same thing I was chasing the last time we had this conversation. I'm yeah. chasing my breakout. I'm chasing my own respect. I am the freshest athlete in the game, one of the best up and comers. And I want, you know what, I'm, I don't want to steal from anyone else saying by giving my flowers. I just want my own respect. You know what I mean? Like, Hispanos Unidos wouldn't have been any, like, wouldn't have been the same without me. I was, me and Azrael were brought into that group together. What did we do when tag team championships right away? Who pinned that person? Me. At, at the, as soon as Johnny Santos came in, Sebastian Case came in. I'm defending the belts with Sebastian Cage. Azrael's going to do his own thing. He's doing junior eight. We have who's holding it down for the, the duo? Me. We, as soon as we go into trios, who wins it on their first try? Who pins their first? Me. I'm a stats guy. It's not that I'm trying to say that I am responsible for or I am like you know match whatever it is. I just want to be able to break out and finally get respect on my own. And I'm not trying to like get revenge. I'm not trying to hurt anyone. This that and third. You All care. I'm trying you to want do is elevate it. myself. Yeah. Absolutely. Very I well said. I appreciate the passion. I one of the guys. That magic. And it's time that people should start paying attention to that. I have to be one of the guys. No one asked me to defend this at Project Codename. No one asked me to defend this at Invictus. I've been doing it on my own because I know that I'm the real champion. And if I wasn't a real cha fighting champion, maybe I would have lost it already. Maybe I would have lost it. And then if I would have lost it, maybe I would have came back with my own toy belt. And, and, uh, oh, uh, boy. And one of these other magic shows. But, again... Now we have, who do we have? We have Troy Locke defending against Azrael, one of my brothers, who instead of, you know, 
standing up for me and saying, no, this isn't right. You're taking it away from my boy. He's taking no. the opportunity. He's taking the opportunity himself. Isaiah Wolf, I have all the respect in the world for Isaiah Wolf. Me and him will mix it up one on one one of these days, and I cannot wait for it. And Troy, Troy, come on, man. I know you're new to the game, but this isn't the right way to do it, man. You wait to face the actual champion, not just another Dominican. This is tracism. Wow, tracism. That's what I'm saying. Tracism. There's the wow. All right. Well, let me ask you this, Trey. And again, a lot of moving parts again going on with the group, man. I feel, and I'm just saying this. I feel like when you break out on your own, as we've seen, you do your thing because, and and, and I'd like to back things up with facts. You are the current reigning and defending ECPW heavyweight champion, exactly. which means, in my mind, you're the face of the company. You are responsible for butts and seats. You carry that flag with you. It's in your suitcase right now, man. Yep. You know what it's like to be a top guy, man. Um, just tell me what that means to you, that responsibility of carrying that flag right now. Listen, I mean, when it comes to ESPW, that's where I started. That's where I first started training. For it to be, you know, for me to carry that mantle and carry that weight on my shoulders, it means the world to me. There's nothing better than starting out somewhere and then like, actually rising to the top through the, the blood, sweat, and tears, with the battles with Tella, battles with Ryman, battles with all these people in order to get to that, to where I got to. You know, a former television champion, then, then you know, two times Super right. uh, Wrestler of the Year to, to being the ECBW Heavyweight Champion. It means the world to me. Well deserved. And, uh, but that, so ECBW is my home, and I would say that Magic is my second home, because like I was saying before, you weren't around for the Tony Rush era. The Tony Rush era, he couldn't really get booked in Magic. He couldn't really get, get the opportunities at Magic. So I switched up, right? I became Trey Felipe. I came back from a pandemic that we all felt. And we came back ne better than ever. So now I hold the belt in two of my home companies. I am on top of the world right now. I just wish that everyone else would see it the way I that it. I see it. it it's a respect you know? thing. It's, it's a respect, respect thing. thing. That's I get all it. it is. I get it. I know it's, it's a 50-50 it's like right now. And listen, I ain't John Cena. There ain't no Trey sucks. Go, let's go, Trey. All right, I'm not doing this right now. People who have seen me come up have seen the... the the actual grind and the the, the, the different uh, everything moments and it. different uh, things moves. that I've had to go to, the moves and stuff that I had to go to, the sacrifice that I've had to make. Look, you asked me before, before we started there, you were talking about the, with the sacrifice that I made at Project Code. My next question, yeah. At the, at the dive. You know why I did that? Because this means the world to me. Because wrestling means the world to me. This is my life. Yeah, that's I can tell. I and you're talking very passionately about it, man. And, and that's why you're here, man. And I appreciate you saying that. Um, we got the show starting in a few minutes, but I do got to ask you about that dive, Trey. All right. All right. And thank you for sharing everything and being open and honest, man. I appreciate that. You gave me some good sound bites. I appreciate yes, that. Sir. <laughs> but, but, Trey, in all seriousness, you talk about that dive. So, for those who didn't see it, go watch the clip. Trey, I think it was over the top rope, over, over the, the barrier, yes, sir. into like the front row of the audience. Yes, that's sir. some GCW stuff right there. Just saying, Brett. Uh, that being yeah. said, though, it was amazing, but dude, how, how, what go, run us through that process, because how does that, what goes through your head, you're going for it, it could end very badly, how do you practice that, whatever you're comfortable with sharing. Well, with I mean, listen, I ain't gonna lie to you, there's, there's no practicing that. I figured, <laughs> I figured <laughs> but there is a, one shot. So before we started our, that whole show, we had a locker room, and our locker room leader, TJ Marconi, mm -hmm. told us all, go for that 30 second clip. My brain started spinning. <laughs> it started running. All right. So, like, okay. And the moment of it being that, you know, seeing that, yes, he jumped over the guardrail. You can't, you, you see my hops. All right. I can get yes. this. What I didn't account for was the low ring. So that's <laughs> yeah, why it was a little close, but the trajectory. I'm here. But I'm here. I made it. It was good. It's, it was sick. I got him. And then I ended up winning the match. It was worth it. I got my 30 second clip. I think it's a win. And you're still walking around. And I'm still walking tail. around with the, with the title. Love All it. Right. Trey, thank you for a few moments. Hopefully you and Troy, in whatever form or fashion, get a lock up to settle this thing. That's that's All above right, my big grade. Lock up. A little yeah, pun, yeah, pun yeah, disputed. Yeah, yeah, but Trey, tell everyone where they can follow you. All that good stuff, man. Uh, get the shirts, uh, too. Beautiful shirt. Beautiful shirt. The towels. Sorry. T Felipe at 21 uh, Felipe 21 on Instagram. Trey Felipe 21 on Twitter. Or X, as the kids call it now. Yes. Uh, Trey Felipe on Facebook. Uh, that's pretty much it. Love yeah. it. And I think oh, he will. Oh, Pro Wrestling Tees. Yeah, of And course. then if you want any hoodies, towels, as my boy Rob just said, you hit me up on any one of those socials. And we might be seeing Trey here in the near future. ISPW? Over, uh, yeah. Uh, ISPW. October 19th. For me versus Johnny Cashmere. Ooh, be I'm, there. I'm here for it. Be there. I, I think you got to go beat up Downey now. He's making uh, yeah, gestures. Yeah, yeah. 
whatever. I'll, I'll give him his little glory. Ladies and gentlemen, the Pro Wrestling Magic, real. Thank you again, Rob. Junior you Heavyweight Champion. Take care, Jay. We out. BCP is brought to you by our favorite store, Funkenstein Wrestling Superstore, located in the Englishtown Flea Market in New Jersey from 8 a.m. to 3 p.m. Saturdays and Sundays and online at FunkensteinWrestlingSuperstore.com. Get your favorite wrestling merch, retro video games, Ninja Turtles, Ghostbusters, G.I. Joe, so much more. It's our favorite store. Thank you, Heather and Dan, for sponsoring the BCP. Also got to welcome back our sponsors, the No Gimmicks Podcast, the podcast that keeps it 100% real 100% of the time. Check out our guy, Kelvin, only on the No Gimmicks Podcast. Wrestling all day, all night is the best wrestling discussion group on Facebook. We provide more of a community feel here. And if wrestling fans introduce other fans to something they may not have seen before, such as old school wrestling, indie wrestling, Japanese wrestling, and so much more. We also strive to be a source of information regarding upcoming wrestler meet and greets and signings. And remember, we're open 24-7, all day, all night. Be sure to follow on socials and join the group on Facebook at Wrestling All Day, All Night. Welcome back, our sponsor, Sweet Chin Musings. Sweet Chin Musings is the creation of the reigning, rarely defending, highly disputed champion of wrestling podcast, Mr. Perfect, Mike Mueller, and his tag team partner in crime, Luke Kudialis. SEM focuses on the in-ring product of WWE and AEW, no dirt sheet rumors here, as well as backstage news predictions and analysis of characters, storylines, and major pay-per-views. Old school fans, don't worry, we have you covered as well with a look back on classic matches, top 10 lists, and interactive tournaments that let the fans decide who is truly the best of all time. You can find them at Facebook at Sweet Chin Musings and check out the podcast on all major podcast platforms. Please welcome back our sponsors on the BCP Plus and the podcast, GPW Productions. GPW provides your promotion or event with top tier video, audio production, live streaming, and more. I can personally vouch for them in saying they are hands down the best production company I've ever worked with as they have and continue to work with the likes of AEW, GCW, StarCast, MLW, not to mention the majority of the local independent promotions here in the tri-state area. They can even help you film a vignette or promo for your persona or gimmick. And guess what? GPW doesn't just work in wrestling. No, they cover MMA, boxing, basketball, or any other sporting event as well. On a personal note, I'd like to thank Mike Sesco, Frank Leone, O'Neill Andros and the team for giving me multiple opportunities to work with them and some of the best talent in the world. Thank you, GPW, and guys, book GPW for your promotion or event today at contact at gpwproductions.com. Please welcome back one of our favorite podcast sponsors, Key Nation, featuring our very own BCP and BCV Plus contributor, Mr. Wayne Keener. Make sure to follow Key Nation on TikTok and Instagram for great puns, memes, dad jokes, and random ridiculous content. Thank you, Wayne, for sponsoring the BCP. Don't forget to check out one of our newest sponsors here on the BCP, Chop City Wrestling. Chop City Wrestling is where our pal Ryan Stenifer takes chops from wrestlers and donates $20 to Connor's Cure for every chop he takes. Follow his adventures on his YouTube channel for all those chops and some great pro wrestling content, all for a good cause. Be sure to hit that subscribe button, and thank you, Ryan, for sponsoring the BCP. Please welcome in our new podcast sponsor from the left side. From the Left Side has all of your wrestling and sports news. Check out From the Left Side at Facebook.com slash From the Left Side with On Air E and be sure to hit that follow button. Thank you, From the Left Side. Please welcome back one of our favorite sponsors, Mania Club. Established in 2015, Mania Club is a WWE-recognized community for fans with an eclectic love for both the world of professional wrestling and raising money for Connor's Cure. During WrestleMania weekend, we host the official tailgate of WrestleMania while also celebrating the life of Conor McCollum. They are the single largest donor within the V Foundation for Conor's Cure with over 150,000 raised. Please donate and join the Facebook group over at Mania Club on Facebook. Donate at jimmyv.org slash Mania Club. Guys, please welcome in our new pod sponsor for the months of May and June, Jay Adam Photography. Jay provides quality, artistic, innovative photography with a quick turnaround time. Be sure to check out his latest ISPW wrestling picks and much more stellar content. Right now, wrestlers can do a special portrait shoot with Jay in Sparta, New Jersey for just $50. Contact Jay at Jay Vogel on Facebook and be sure to follow him across socials. Thank you, Jay, for sponsoring the BCP. Guys, let's welcome in our new pod sponsor, Cooper Groove Grips. When you play Cooper Groove drumsticks, you get increased sensory feedback from your hands so your grip will naturally loosen 
but you have complete control. With that taking place, you don't have fatigue and soreness, which can lead to long-term issues. Guys, this is a drummer. Cooper Groove is my drumstick of choice. Sweaty hands aren't a problem. Grip is good. And don't forget to check out their amazing Cooper Groove bats coming out soon. Guys, follow at Cooper Groove Grips on Facebook. Guys, please welcome in our new podcast sponsors, ISPW Weekly, where we dive deep into the world of ISPW, the crossroads of professional wrestling. Join Jumpin' Jay and Total with Tom every week as they interview the stars of the ring, uncover their stories, rivalries, and the electrifying action that defines ISPW. Be sure to check out ISPW Weekly on the ISPW Facebook page every week. Please welcome in our new pod and daily site sponsor, Twisted Shamrock Studios and Spa, located in Delaware County, Pennsylvania. Twisted Shamrock is a retro spa experience for the average Joe and Jane. Meet the next evolution of recovery and relaxation. Right now, you can try their introductory offer, where you can try a core service to include massage, skin care, facial, stretch therapy, body slimming, toning, personal training, and spray tanning for 30 minutes for just $30. This is perfect for our wrestling pals as well. Book today. Call 484-574-8868 or visit www.twistedshamrockstudiospa.com. Guys, please welcome back our podcast sponsor, Wrestling Games, live signings, and more. Ahead of their inaugural signing September 1st in partnership with Revolution Wrestling Federation, featuring Buff Bagwell, Gary Wolf, Renee Michelle, and L.A. Spoon. Pricing includes shout-outs from all the wrestlers. Havoc Monsters Ball Deal, $125 gets you one 8x10 each by all four announced talent and any indie wrestler that shows up on the live. It'll be at least two to four. $20 each additional 8x10 individual photos only. First photo, 25 shipped for first. Each additional 20 includes a top loader for each photo. Any mail-ins are $30 for each item, 25 each additional. More items to be posted later. Feel free to message Emil Menard for any questions or purchases. Guys, I want to shout out John Blaine's Around the Ropes podcast for sponsoring the BCP. Around the Ropes podcast is your weekly live compressive coverage of all things pro wrestling from indies to the main event of WrestleMania. Join John as he talks to some of the biggest names on the indies. Search Around the Ropes podcast on Facebook, Twitter, IG, and subscribe on YouTube by searching for Around the Ropes. Guys, please welcome in our new podcast sponsor, Inside Heat Sports and Collectibles, LLC. Ahead of their Hamburg Sports and Hobby Show featuring special guest Penn State and number two overall draft NFL pick New York Jets player Blair Thomas. October 20th from 9 a.m. to 4 p.m. in Hamburg, New Jersey. Blair will be signing from 11 to 1 and on-site vendors will have sports cards, TCG, memorabilia, and more. Contact Pete at InsideHeatSports at gmail.com for more info. Thank you, Inside Heat, for sponsoring the BCP. Guys, please welcome in our returning pod sponsor, Warriors of Wrestling, ahead of their next event, October 5th, in Staten Island, New York, featuring AEW star Khan, New Warriors champion Danny Moth, women's champ Angel Metro, TJ Marconi, Darius Carter, Chris Steeler, Roger Mendez, Mike Ditello, the boss Joe Bellini, and more. Get your tickets now and follow Warriors of Wrestling on YouTube. Guys, please welcome back our returning pod sponsor, Bree Combination Wrestling. Free Combination Wrestling presents Nightmare at the Mecca, Sunday, October 20th at the Mecca, 106 Bergen Ave, Richfield Park, New Jersey, featuring BCW Women's Champion Vicious Vicky, BCW Heavyweight Champion Darius Carter, the All-Father, Anthony Gangone, Jay Bougie, and more. Get your tickets now and be sure to follow BCW on YouTube and Title Match Network. 